Greetings from New Braunfels, Texas. My name is Dr. Corey Brandenberger, and it is my privilege to serve as the principal of Cross Lutheran Church and School. Every year on Veterans Day, our students gather in our sanctuary and perform songs and poems to celebrate our veterans. Unfortunately, we're not able to gather in person this year, but we still wanted to celebrate you, the men and women who have sacrificed so that we can continue to call this country free. We are so grateful for your service, and we hope that you will enjoy the songs and the poems that we've put together here virtually. And we'd also like you to mark your calendars and plan on being in person with us next year as we continue to celebrate this great nation. God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. May the Lord be with you and bless you on this day, this Veterans Day. Hello, and on behalf of the entire Cross Lutheran Church and School Ministry and family, I'm Don Fraker. I'm blessed to serve as senior pastor here at Cross Lutheran, and I want to say thank you to our veterans. On this Veterans Day, we take this opportunity to, to thank you once again for your service. My father was a veteran. My brother is a veteran. And we all have in our families, either immediate or extended, uh, people who have said, I will stand, I will serve, I will sacrifice. And we thank you for your service, your commitment, your patriotism, and your commitment. And I invite you to pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your service, your sacrifice, the forgiveness that is ours for free because of your death and resurrection. In your name, we pray, asking you to bless our country, bless our government, bless our veterans, and continue to bless us as we look to you and listen to you and follow you. Thank you for all of our blessings, Lord Jesus. We do pray this in your name. Amen. The Pledge of Allegiance to the Flag is a pledge to the idea of our forefather, the men who fought and died in the building of this great nation. It is a pledge to fulfill our duties and obligation as a citizen of the United States and uphold the principles of our Constitution. And last but not least is a pledge to maintain the four great freedoms cherished by all Americans. The freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom from want, and freedom from fear. Justice! 
I, me, an individual, a committee of one. Pledge, dedicate all my worldly goods without self-pity. Allegiance, my love and devotion. To the flag, our standard old glory, a symbol of freedom. Wherever she waves, there is respect because your loyalty has given her a dignity that shouts freedom. It's everybody's job. United, that means we all, that we have all came together. State, individual communities that have united into 50 great states, 50 individual communities with pride and dignity and purpose, all divided with imaginary boundaries, yet united to a common purpose, and that is love for the country. And to the Republic, Republic, a state in which sovereign power is invested in the representatives chosen by the people to govern. And the government is the people, and it's from the people to the leaders, not from the leaders to the people. For which it stands. One, one nation meaning so blessed by God. Indivisible and capable of being divided. With, with liberty, which, which is freedom, the right of power to live one's own life without threats, fear, or some sort of retaliation. And justice, the principles or qualities of dealing fairly with others. For all, which means Boys and girls, it's as much as your country as it is mine. A salute to America. I believe in the United States of America as a government of the people, by the people, for the people. Those just powers are derived from the consent of the governed and democ a democracy in a republic, a sovereign nation of many sovereign states, a perfect unit, one and inseparable. Established upon those principles of freedom, equality, justice, and humanity for which American patriots sacrificed their lives and fortunes. I therefore believe it is my duty to my country to love it, to support its constitution, to obey its laws, to respect its flag, and defend it against all enemies. Next to our love of God and family, nothing should be more dear to us than the love and respect we have for our nation. American veterans, we salute you. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918, an armistice or temporary cessation of hostilities was declared between the Allied nations and Germany in the First World War, then known as the Great War. Commemorated as Armistice Day, beginning the following year, November 11th, became a legal federal holiday in the United States in 1968. In the aftermath of World War II and the Korean War, Armistice Day became Veterans Day, a holiday dedicated to American veterans of all wars. The students and faculty of Cross Lutheran School come together to honor all veterans who have served or are currently serving our great country and are protecting 
our freedom as Americans. Ladies and gentlemen, we salute you and thank you for your service. The Constitution is over 200 years old. This document contains the rights and freedoms that we the people enjoy today. Think of it as an instruction manual to a board game, but in this case it tells how our government works. It's our Constitution and it was written by men who wanted their new nation to last. We are thankful that our brave soldiers have fought to defend our great nation. We would like to recite the beginning of this symbolic document which explains why the Constitution was written. Pay particular attention to the last phrase of the preamble. It is a powerful statement saying that the people made this document and the people gave the country its power. fathers wrote the Constitution, they paved a path for future generations to live by, so they could form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. The preamble of the Constitution of the United States of America. But what does it mean to do these things? What does it mean to promote the general welfare? A good American is someone who not only leads, but helps others to lead. A simple good deed, like offering to help someone, can turn a person's life around. When the pandemic was at its peak, I had to do remote learning for about one and a half years. When the pandemic slowed down, I returned to school. All of my friends had left, and it was like being a new student again. I barely talked to anyone until someone 
inviting me to sit with them. We were complete strangers, but they still did that, and that has made all the difference. Another way pe people can promote the general welfare is by working together. Teamwork is used to benefit the entire team, not just one individual. Teamwork is to work together to achieve something that is greater than oneself. Children are overflowing with potential, potential that is usually unseen. There are many child inventors who changed the world, such as Lewis Braille, who invented Braille when he was 15 years old, or Benjamin Franklin, who invented flippers when he was 11. We can support them by preserving their opinions, even if we disagree. We shouldn't dismiss an opposing opinion, but consider it. By protecting children, we protect the world, and by protecting the world, we protect our future. A good American is one that is not only strong, but one that is united. Before you finish listening, ask yourself this, how can you be a good American? Being a good American. President John F. Kennedy once said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. What can we do for our country? You can come up with many answers and all are valid. For me, I think we should start simple. What can we do for our country? We can have pride. Pride in our country, pride in our people, and pride in ourselves. Having pride in our country will do many things. It will bind us together and we will be connected by our love for our country. We'll also become more grateful. We'll realize what privileges we have in America that other countries don't. Finally, it will give us a feeling of responsibility. We'll defend, serve, and honor our country. Having pride in our people will help us in so many ways. Pride in our people allows us to embrace our differences. America is a land that is home to so many people all with different beliefs, religion, background, and stories. When we embrace these differences, our country will be colorful, beautiful, and diverse. When we have pride in each other, we'll show kindness to others, and we'll show it more often. Along with this, there will be less conflict. Most arguments that occur happen over a difference between two individuals. Now imagine, instead of us arguing with someone because they are different from us, we embrace that they're different. Pride in our people would make our country and our world so much better. Finally, being a good American includes having pride in yourself will become more confident and lead happier lives. We'll show our real selves to the world, making the world filled with people who are brave enough to be themselves. Our country would be beautifully diverse and unique. We'll all speak out more, sharing our ideas and making the world better. Pride in ourselves is the building block for pride in our people, and pride in our people is the building block for pride in our country. So have pride in yourself. Being a good American means having pride in our country, our people, and ourselves. Pride in our country will bind us together, Pride in our people will allow us to embrace differences. Pride in ourselves will supply us with confidence to be ourselves. So, what can we do for our country? Start off small and have pride. We thank the members of the Marines. M is for mighty fighters. A is for always caring. R is for ready to protect. I is for intelligent strategists. N is for never gives up. E is for excellent at helping. We are grateful for your service. We thank the members of the Army. A is for always breaking hard. R is for respectful to our country. M is for mighty fighters. Y is 
Y is for you are strong. We are grateful for your service. We thank the members of the Navy in is for nice to others. A is for amazing at fighting. B is for very strong. Y is for you are a hero. We are grateful for your service. We thank the members of the Air Force. A is for amazing at their job. I is for incredible at helping. R is for responsible for keeping our country safe. F is for friendly to us. O is for outstanding fighters. R is for ready to protect us. C is for caring toward others. E is for able to help. We are grateful for your service. We thank the members of the Coast Guard. C is for confident at helping. O is for outstanding at their jobs. A is for awesome at saving people. S is for smart at making a plan. T is for tough when people are fighting. G is for great at saving boats. U is for understanding when people talk to them. A is for amazing at their work. R is for respectful to the state. D is for daring during dangerous missions. We are grateful for your service. 